Okay, in this video, we'll talk more about the, the monitoring and the messaging. So as you go to monitoring, you'll see, uh, again, the, uh, the active people that are on, and you can tell what site they're on by here. Okay, so um, uh, one good thing is, is that if, if no one's really asking you anything, it's okay. You want to wait until they message you. But again, if you've noticed that someone is on here for a, a certain amount of time, let's just go to this one. Here's how you, you, you go to a certain chat you can see. And every chat that you kind of have open will be here, okay? So I want to I want to keep this one open because I want to show you some examples here. Now this one is they're on Bethany's cause, they're on this page, okay? So let's just say if you wanted to join and say they've been on here for a while, you can always just go ahead and join. And then in this box is where you're going to write a reply. So for instance, no one's asked us a question, but you can always, you know, be proactive if you see that people are on here, and you can say. Try to try to have, you know, you're going to have misspellings here and there in grammar, but try to be as, as correct as you can. So now I'm, I'm actually in this conversation. If they decide to, you can see, you'll see what they do as if they decide to write back anything. Okay. Now let's go over to this. This was a, this was a, a conversation that was started. Um, you were going to check on my status of my order under my email address. Um, Here's my email address. I ordered leg leggings, but never got an email confirmation, but it is did come up. So when this came in, I joined. Um, and then another agent, Shelly, she actually joined the conversation because you can have multiple agents <clears throat> join the conversation. And Shelly had already dealt uh, with this particular customer and her the issue that she was having. So she went ahead and just joined and said, hey, hi, Patricia, I sent you an email and here's what happened. You know, here's here's what's going on. And then so, you know, she was able to come right in here so that she was messaging now that's in the message if you hit whisper this means that you can actually write a message and i can't do it now because shelly left and the visitor left but you can actually talk back and forth to an agent without the the, the person on the website seeing so let's just say shelly joined and she probably could have whispered to me hey mike thanks for helping but i i got this one um, i've already helped her and i would say okay you know they can't see this so just make sure if you're writing something to another agent that you are on Whisper, okay? <clears throat> so one thing I did want to show you about this though is anytime that you someone leaves their email address, look over here and to see because we don't get the visitor's email all, all the time. So if you want, if you, if you maybe need to create a ticket and we'll do that in the next, next video, every time you see a message, come over here, grab their email address and if it's not already populated, if they haven't provided it on the widget, you can come in here Put it in there and then hit save. Now, in case we needed to reach out to her again, we have her email in here and we can easily create a ticket off of that. And I'll, I'll talk more about creating tickets. Okay. So again, um, this visitor, she left. You can see that she, she looked around, she left. Okay. So that's okay. When you're done with a conversation, you can simply just X out of it up here. Okay. And I'm kind of hoping to get a call, uh, a call while we're on here, but if not, we'll, we'll get one. Um, and so you can kind of see now, and when we come over to messaging, now this is, is if someone has left you a message and, uh, we'll, I'll, I'll do some more of these, but, um, someone had to le left a message and was, you know, not during business hours. So I was able to, to get their email cause they left it in here, I saved it and I was able to create a ticket. So the messaging you always want to check because you might be able to respond to somebody by creating a ticket and we'll get into that into the next video i'll talk more about messaging and how to create a ticket and i will see you in the next video <laughs>